Hello, welcome to Storytime with Burley. Today we are reading My Parents Think I'm Sleeping by Jack Prelutsky. My Parents Think I'm Sleeping by Jack Prelutsky. My Parents Think I'm Sleeping. My Parents Think I'm Sleeping, but I'm positively not for beneath my pile of covers I am doing quite a lot. I am reading poems and stories. I have got my flashlight lit. I am playing with the pieces of my model rocket kit. I was quiet as my shadow till the moment they were gone. Then I dove beneath the covers and I snapped my flashlight on. So my parents think I'm sleeping, but that's simply their mistake. I have got them fooled completely. I am really wide awake. Tonight is impossibly noisy. Tonight is impossibly noisy. It's filled with a horrible sound, as if dozens of ogres and tigers are stuck on a merry-go-round. It sounds like a monkey battalion is dancing on needles and pins or an out-of-tune elephant orchestra is sawing on steel violins. Tonight is impossibly noisy. The air is full of screeches and roars. It sounds as if pigs are stampeding, pursued by enraged dinosaurs. It sounds like a poltergeist army is holding a midnight parade. But it's only the alley cat chorus in a brassy backyard serenade. The clouds I watched this afternoon. The clouds I watched this afternoon were flocks of silent sheep, but now they've turned to smoky wolves that watch me while I sleep. All night they prowl before the moon till morning when I rise. Then once again, white fleecy sheep will float across the skies. Night is here. Night is here, and night is there, and night is all around. I feel its presence everywhere, and yet it makes no sound. And so it's time to close my eyes and dream the night away until the sun lights up the skies and welcomes back the day. A Spooky Sort of Shadow There's a spooky sort of shadow dancing weirdly on the wall. It's a creature that I've never seen before. It's creepy and it's eerie and so positively tall that it stretches from the ceiling to the floor. Its mouth is full of needles and has a giant eye and it's moving in a hungry sort of way. It surely could destroy me if it only cared to try. So I hope it's had enough to eat today. That shadow makes me nervous. I don't dare to close my eyes. I'm afraid I may be eaten head and all. If I fall asleep tonight, I'll be taken by surprise by that shadow dancing on my bedroom wall. What happens to the colors? What happens to the colors when night replaces day? What turns the wrens to ravens, the trees to shades of gray? Who paints away the garden when the sky's a sea of ink? Who robs the sleeping flowers of their purple and their pink? What makes the midnight clover quiver black upon the lawn? What happens to the colors? What brings them back at dawn? I have been in bed for hours. I have been in bed for hours, but I'm sure I'm wide awake for my head is filled with visions of a forest by a lake. I hear frogs and crickets calling. I'm aware of fireflies. I can see the moon reflected in an owl's unblinking eyes. I tiptoe very softly past a hive of drowsy bees. High above, a cloud meanders. Tiny stars shine through the trees. 
I sit beside the water as a silent swan glides by. I climb a breezy hilltop where I almost touch the sky. I watch the fishes splashing in a clear and crystal stream. It's a very lovely forest, far too real to be a dream. Chocolate Cake I am lying in the darkness with a smile upon my face as I'm thinking of my stomach, which has got an empty space, and that corner of the kitchen with the piece of chocolate cake I have got to get my hands on for my empty stomach's sake. When my parents both are sleeping, I can tell by father's snore. I will sneak out of my bedroom. I will tiptoe past their door. I will slip into the kitchen without any noise or light. And if I'm really careful, I will have that cake tonight. Rain. I was having trouble sleeping when I heard the pleasant sound of raindrops softly falling on the rooftop and the ground. I hurried to the window just to watch them as they fell. They filled the night with sparkles and a fresh and lovely smell. I started feeling sleepy so I climbed back into bed and fell asleep while listening to the raindrops overhead. It is so still. It is so still, so still tonight. There is no sound at all. No tapping on a window pane, no footsteps in the hall. No barking dog or screeching cat, no mouse beneath my bed. No rustle of a windy leaf, no raindrops overhead. I lie beneath my covers with my pillow to my ear and my breathing and my heartbeat are the only sounds I hear. If it was sunlight shining. If it was sunlight shining, I'd know that it was day. I'd gobble down my breakfast, then hurry out to play. If it was sunlight shining, I would not be indoors. I'd race around the garden. I'd fill the air with roars. If it was sunlight shining, I'd be a chimpanzee. I'd run, I'd jump, I'd tumble, I'd clamber up a tree. But it is moonlight shining. My eyes are getting red. My head is full of cobwebs and I am off to bed. When I'm very nearly sleeping. When I'm very nearly sleeping in the middle of the night and I hear the part of creeping of a thing that likes to bite, you may be completely certain that I haven't any fear, though when it is on the curtain, how I wish it were not here. When I sense the creature perching on my pillow underneath and suspect that it is searching for a spot to sink its teeth. When I'm sure I feel it flitting but an inch above my head, I am glad a lamp is sitting on the table by my bed. A million candles. A million candles fill the night. They glister in the dark. And though by day they hide their glow, now each displays its spark. Amidst them all, there is one light that has a special shine, and that's the one whose name I know. I think that it knows mine. I'm awake, I'm awake. I'm awake, I'm awake. I cannot shut my eyes. I'm unable to sleep, though I've made many tries. I'm sure I've explored every inch of my bed, my body's exhausted and so is my head. I wiggle, I fidget, I tumble, I twist. I pound my poor pillow with fist after fist. I stopped counting sheep when I reached 93. I'm awake, I'm awake. I cannot fall asleep. The end. That concludes our reading of My Parents Think I'm Sleeping by Jack Prelutsky.
Thank you for watching Storytime with Burley. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel at Home with Burley. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.